Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And uh, I did start playing with Autodesk CFD. And one thing which I noticed uh, when you push geometry from Revit to Autodesk CFD is that you also need to have one more volume, uh, which will represent the air. So my trick regarding that is to create a, a floor and to subtract all those elements which I have in that room. Uh, from that floor and I will use that solid uh, later in Autodesk CFD and declare that material to be air. So how I will do that? So I will start creating floor. And now uh, like specification of that floor. I did call it uh, family type to be an air, uh, and uh, the thickness of that floor will be basically the entire height of my room. So from the floor to the ceiling, I will finish with that. So now I have a floor which represents that volume, which we will uh, uh, later declare as an air. But uh, if we isolate that volume uh, from that volume, I want to subtract all existing geometry in that room. So in order to do that, I will go to Dynamo and I have very, very simple script. So I will run the script. And the thing is, you need to find that floor which you created. And in this case, that floor is at index 50. So I will now connect this. So at first I find that element, connect everything. And now I did create uh, instance, which I push again to Revit. And later I will use that in uh, Autodesk CFD as an air. So what we have here basically is that uh, we did convert all elements to solids. And we need to uh, create a union because for um, one element will, we will have a couple of solids and we want to separate that one volume that floor which we created and from that volume we want to subtract all other solids and as a result of this script we will have this volume and this instance so now when I go back to Revit I will delete this floor and now I have new instance so when I isolate that element, I did sub subtract all other geometry which I have in the room. And this basically will limit the air inside my simulation for this room. And that's it. I hope that this script will help someone if uh, somebody else also want to uh, play with uh, Autodesk CFD and need to create some kind of uh, volume. Thank you for watching. Bye.